Hey, Shalom, Shalom, I came your brother here, Yakanin. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Rakak Wadash, Marakatum. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And citations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are put in work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully to y'all want to say Shalom, okay, and keep enduring. Hey, I'm just starting off in the book of Revelations, okay, uh, reading this uh, future prophecy, okay. So we'll start at uh, Revelation 18 and 1. The title was The Desolation of Babylon, which we know is America. Okay. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All right, so Babylon is going to be less as a desolation land when, he, when the kingdom has arrived. Okay, nobody's going to dwell over here in America anymore. Okay, we know the motherland is Jerusalem, and that place is going to be get its get its birth back, get its gloriness back. Okay, but uh, over here in Babylon is going to be left for the for the birds and the unclean, hateful uh, birds and animals and, and lizards and all types of, of stuff. And nobody's going to dwell over here in America anymore once the kingdom is established here on earth. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, okay? And that wine is not talking about physical wine. It's talking about the, that wine is talking about the philosophies and the ideologies and the false idols and gods of this world, okay? Every other nation follows after America, all right? And because of that, they will be destroyed because of that, okay? And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, all right? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of here, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins are recent to heaven and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. So this place is so wicked that this place has reached the heavens with its wickedness. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has remembered that. Man. That's why the Lord said to depart, man. All right, be ye separate. All right, because if you're not, you're going to be get the same judgment that America's going to get. You're going to be right along with that. All right, seeing all the plagues and, 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 and shit, you're going to damn near be alive from nuclear missiles to come, you're going to die. All right, you're going to burn. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. All right, it says double unto her. All right, whatever uh, of Babylon, this wicked place, hey, 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 daddy's doing something. Quiet it down, okay? Whatever Babylon has done to the children of Israel, it's going to be doubled down onto the, onto the people and to this wicked ass place. Okay. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. And that's the pride of this place. All right. Everybody thinks Babylon is going to go on forever. All right. Everybody thinks Babylon is never going to be destroyed. It has the greatest army, the greatest infrastructure, the greatest whatever you want to call it. All right, but that's all an illusion. All right, Yahweh is going to show how great he really is when he brings down this great power that is known among the world. All right, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. Okay, and, 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 and I think it's in the scripture somewhere, but this place is going to be destroyed in one hour, man. One hour. How long it took for this place to be, to be established and the so-called be great? Hey, the Lord going to do away with this place in one hour, man. All right. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. All right. And that's these elites, man. These people that love this place so much like Lot's wife looking back because they love that lifestyle they had here in America. The wicked uh, 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 do what you feel, do what thou will spirit. All right, that wicked ass spirit, man. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes do do do, do what's pleasing unto the flesh and disregard the spirit and the truth and the laws and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, that's why they're gonna be put to death because of that, man. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, "At last, at last, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, from one hour is thy judgment come." One hour, there it is. One hour. It's gonna take one hour for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to do away with this goddamn place, man. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth 
their merchandise anymore. So there's going to be nothing else to buy. This place is done. It's ruins. It's finished. Finito. Bye-bye. All right? The world's not going to be destroyed because the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established here on earth. All right? But America's going to be burned with fire and never dwelled in again because of how wicked this goddamn place is, man. But that's cool because we don't even need this place. We're going to be dwelling in, 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 in different planets and galaxies and you know what I mean? We'll have more than enough room, trust. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious woods and of brass and iron and, mar and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. When all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. It's a rat. This place is not going to be able to give you nothing, man. It's not going to be able to offer you anything. And saying, at last, at last, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For one hour, so great riches has come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And that's the people of the world when they see this, this place being destroyed. Alright, they're gonna be sad because this is this was their life. This was this is what they love. <laughs> Meanwhile, the men of the Lord Dad, are gonna be sad. Pick the chair up now. Meanwhile, the men of the Lord is, is gonna be happy, man. We're gonna be cheering. Alright, but uh, the people of the world is gonna be sighing and crying. Yeah, don't be hey. happy. Alright, hey, hey. Did I say daddy's doing something? Hey, don't be happy, man. Alright, hey, daddy's doing something. Pick a chair up. Yeah. Slack okay, okay, I'm just with the kids. Mm -hmm. I'm with the kids. And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, At last, at last, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costing us for in one hour and she made yeah. desolate. All right, one hour. Keep going over that one hour. That one hour. One hour. All right. Rejoice over her, thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets. For Yahweh hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. It's a rat, man. This place is going to be finished, man. This place is going to be destroyed off the face of the mat, man. All right. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman or whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridge, bridge, bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceriness, sorcer, sorceries, were all nations deceived. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. All right? Because this place is wicked, man. That's why it's called the Valley of the Shadow of Death. It's a lot of death going on here. All right? Even the death of the, of the saints and even of the elect. All right? Because we know some are going to die. All right? But because uh, 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 the same blood that was spilt, now the people that spilt that blood, that blood got to be spilled in this land. Okay? To make this land righteous again. Okay, the Lord is all about vengeance. That's why it says vengeance is in my heart and the day of my redeemed is near. All right, you people that are in the world, you people that are in America, you love this place. All right, you, you don't know that you're partaking, partaking in, 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 in something that is against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, you love this place and you hate the Lord according to James 4 and 4. You can't be a friend of the world and a friend of the Lord. Don't work that way, man. All right, that's why, that's why the Lord says to, to separate. To, to, to uh, depart uh, Micah 2, 2 and 10 This ain't your rest Alright For it's surely polluted Alright it, it shall destroy you Alright Roughly paraphrasing Alright So if you in America still And you love this place And you're following after the the, the, the the philosophies And the ideologies And the mindsets Of this place Really of the so-called white man That you're in for a rude awakening You're going to be destroyed You're going to be killed Because we read in the scriptures America is going to be destroyed By fire in one hour Plagues is going to come. All that chaos is going to happen. All right? And we read that here in the Bible. If you believe in this book, you should believe that this is going to come to pass in the near future. All right? We believe that wholeheartedly. All right? We see it now uh, little by little America falling. All right? But real soon, you're going to see it more and more and more and more and more. There's not going to be no denial about it. 
All right, then people are going to know that this book was never lies. This book was the book of life. This is the only living book in the world. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rokokodash, Barakat Dum, double homage to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth and salutations out there to the hopeful elect. The brothers are going to put in this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. Shalom.